Businesses can be subject to raids from a variety of enforcement agencies, for example the police, a serious fraud office, health and safety executive or the Competition and Markets Authority. Search operations can be high profile and attract media coverage. High profile corporate raids have involved Alstom and 21st Century Fox. Each agency exercises different powers, but there are a number of key points that are relevant to any raid, which if followed will ensure that your business can respond to the raid effectively and protect its position going forwards. Closely follow your Dawn Raid policy if you have one, and if necessary, seek expert advice. Many businesses will have a Dawn Raid policy in place, and if so, this should be carefully followed. However, the way in which a raid is responded to is critical, and having legal advisors on site who have expertise in responding to raids to help you through the process can sometimes be vital. Make sure all relevant material is preserved. The removal, destruction or alteration of any relevant material, whether in hard copy or electronic form, is a potential criminal offence and anyone responsible could face prison. It's therefore essential that all relevant personnel are notified as soon as is possible of the need to preserve material and the consequences of failing to do so. Optimally, a carefully worded email should be sent to all staff, which they must acknowledge and confirm that they understand. What might be relevant material is often not straightforward and complicated questions regularly arise. Don't obstruct the investigators, but don't be bullied. The investigators will be acting on the basis of an authority, possibly issued by a court, but they have to work within the limits of that authority and in any event act lawfully in all respects. Make sure you fully understand what the investigators can do and what the raid relates to. In the early stages, investigators may be tense and will want to exert their authority, but that doesn't mean they can do whatever they want. Try and build a rapport with investigators to take the tension out of the situation, but be firm in not allowing them to exceed their authority. You can't obstruct the investigation, but never let investigators go anywhere uncompanied or let them ask questions about the investigation unless they have a valid authority to do so. Check, challenge, preserve. It won't be possible to stop a raid whilst it's ongoing, and so a vital element of any response will be this three-pronged approach. Check the warrant or authority and make sure you are clear what it allows. Challenge anything that you think investigators may not be allowed to do and preserve the position for later argument with the investigators or a court. Let's look at those points in a little more detail. Protect privileged material. Even with a warrant, investigators can't seize legally privileged material. Sometimes this will be obvious, say an advice letter from solicitors, but often it's not so clear. Having external lawyers available to identify and withhold privileged material will help, but if in any doubt, privilege should always be asserted. The investigators might then still seize the material, but would have to quarantine it. The material then can't be inspected until it's been confirmed as not being privileged. The law relating to privilege is complicated, and many questions can arise, such as who was the client, and what was the purpose of the advice? In contrast to privileged information, confidential information can be seized, but specific authority is needed for this to be allowed, and investigators sometimes fail to get that authority. If in any doubt, advice should be taken. Access to electronic material. The warrant or authority is likely to permit data held on both your main server and portable devices to be accessed and copied. Investigators should not, though, be allowed to do this independently because of the risk of damage to your systems. If you don't have an IT team able to ensure that data is safely imaged, external experts should be instructed to oversee what the investigators are doing. If possible, the investigators should only access an image but not review electronic data whilst on site as this will minimise the disruption to your business. As with hard copy material, great care should though be taken to ensure that any files being imaged are within the authority of the warrant and do not contain privileged information. Thank you for watching our top tips. We could talk about this all day, as it's an important and complicated area. Dawn raids though are likely to become increasingly common, and for businesses in higher risk areas, pre-planning and taking appropriate advice could prove critical if that day ever comes.